Hey guys, Giggles here. Today I'm going to go ahead and explain the story of when I got robbed while live streaming back when I used to be in college. And I'm also going to do it while drawing some dank pictures on Microsoft Paint. So here we go. Let's first off start by drawing my apartment building that I was in. And I had a roommate as well. So let's just draw the entire apartment area first. And that entrance is the door. And then there's these two rooms in the upper left. The one in the upper upper left is my room. And then the one next to it to the right is my roommate's room. So let's go ahead and draw those using Microsoft Dank Paint. All right, that's the door to my room right there. And then let's draw my uh, let's draw my roommate's room. Okay. This room always smelled like weed, just as a heads up. And then here's the bathroom that I'm going to draw right now. And if you guys haven't heard of the shower story, the shower sex story, this is very important. This is a great visualization for that story as well. So it gives you an idea of how close my room is to the bathroom. And again, this is a very small building, so that's just a maybe a couple of feet. Barely enough room to walk through. Okay, and then this right here up there, that's important. This is like a window. This is a big giant window that you can pop open right there in the upper right. So that's really important. <clears throat> and then this thing right here is a giant couch, which doesn't even look like a couch, but it is a giant couch. And then this is going to be a television. So you sit on the couch and watch the TV. Pretty standard stuff, right? And then... This is a fridge, and this is this area where the fridge is, that's like the kitchen area right there. So, um, yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw myself, and of course I'm in my room, my door's closed, and I am live, it's closed but not locked, keep that in mind. And I am live streaming, and let's just go ahead and, why don't we draw some headsets on myself so that you can tell that, you know, I'm plugged in. I can't I can't be tuned into reality. I can't hear anything that's going on because I'm sitting and I'm streaming some Diablo 3 in my room, right? Okay, and now the perpetrator, right? The perpetrator goes around. He doesn't go through the front door, obviously. He goes around the apartment building, in through the window, tips over the couch, and then perpetrates... And goes through and just knocks all the shit over. That squiggly line is him just wrecking shit. Knocking shit over, stealing things, taking things. Goes to the fridge, steals food out of the fridge. Yes, he actually did that because the guy was homeless. Goes into my roommate's room, steals all his textbooks, which are worth a lot of money if you haven't been to college or don't know. Steals his backpack, which has his computer in it. Goes back through, rummages through a bunch of stuff, tips shit over, just wrecks the whole place making a bunch of noise and then leaves through the window and of course the entire time I can't hear a single goddamn thing I'm sitting in my room while this happened this happened at about 11 o'clock in the morning and I'm sitting in my room streaming the entire time yelling at the top of my lungs right so at about noon somebody noticed the apartment and somebody noticed that something had gone on obviously not me because I'm sitting streaming just completely minding my own business and let's draw a police car. There we go. And then the police show up, right? And they show up and they get to the front door and they go in. And I'm still streaming. And then they come to me and they ask me if I've heard anything, right? They're like, have you heard anything? Do you know anything that's going on with this robbery? Have you heard what's happening? Like, do you know who this was? Did you see anyone? I mean, you were here, obviously. So you must have some idea of what's going on, right? And I'm just like, nope, I have no fucking idea. I was in my room the entire time. I couldn't hear a goddamn thing. The robber actually went behind my room. He was about five feet away from me. Uh, my door was closed. He never actually opened up my room because he could hear me inside my room, right? The robber could actually hear me inside my room. He knew that I was actually there and he knew I was in my room doing something and he never actually went in my room. And the police say the guy was armed with a knife. <clears throat> and uh, the guy did get caught. Of course, a bunch of people came over because the police was there. And the whole apartment was a complete disaster. Shit was stolen. Everyone was wondering what the fuck was going on, including the police. They had no idea why I, 
had absolutely no idea what was going on. Eventually, they thought that something had to do with me, that maybe I was suspicious of something because I had been there the entire time streaming and I hadn't been aware of anything. And so the whole fucking campus, not the whole campus, but like a bunch of people come over and start asking me questions and the police start asking them questions and it's a whole big giant fucking mess. They eventually ended up catching the guy. Again, he was homeless. He was armed with a knife. The guy went to jail. He might even still be in jail. He's stolen stuff before and they've had problems with this guy in the past. So he did get caught. But yeah, uh, pretty fucked up. The police actually ended up asking me a question. They're like, so you never left the building. You've just been here the entire time. I'm like, yep. They're like, do you ever go outside? Like, do you ever like, you know, do anything? And I'm like, nope, I stay inside all day. And the police were just like, okay, we'll, we'll make note of that. So yeah, the entire time I was inside, I couldn't hear a single thing because I had my headset on streaming Diablo 3 with thousands of people watching. Nobody in the stream could hear anything, but I was there the entire time while this robber essentially tore apart the entire place and stole my roommate's stuff. And my roommate wasn't very happy about it. So there you go, folks. That's a little draw my life edition there with some Microsoft Paint. Pretty epic skills. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to like it, subscribe, check out all my other stories, share with your friends, do all that typical YouTube crap, and feel free to leave any comments below about what you guys think. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this story, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care, everybody.